welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I have a very exciting video well I think it's very exciting and I'm also in a really good mood so that that's good right today we're going to be talking about words associated with luxury fashion brands and their abbreviations and acronyms if you're just starting out with luxury this is a really great video for you to watch so I'm gonna start with the uh, fashion houses the first one is LV and that stands for Louis Vuitton it is well known so I, I'm pretty sure that everybody knows who Louis Vuitton is or what it is. The next one is YSL and that stands for Yves Saint Laurent. I actually brought a bag just to show you the symbol. This is Yves Saint Laurent, a great brand. So YSL, Yves Saint Laurent. Why did I say that 50 times? The next one is CL and that stands for Christian Louboutin. He is a well known for his red bottoms which are right behind me and my ultimate favorite shoes. I also like other luxury fashion houses when it comes to shoes that are down there, but CL right here, Christian Louboutin. Next one is TF, that is Tom Ford. The next one is GG, and I usually think of GG as good game because I also teach sixth grade, so that's like their lingo, but in the luxury house, it is for Gucci. It is part of the double G line, and I'll show you right here. So this is GG. And the reason why he made this is because the founder of Gucci, his name was Guccio, and his son actually dedicated the double G to his father. I don't really know if it's pronounced Guccio, but I'm gonna assume that it is if Gucci is pronounced as Gucci. The next one is TB, which is Tory Burch. Okay, so now we're gonna go into SA, which is your sales associate, and those are the lovely people that help you when you go to the store if you need anything or if you're looking for a certain size a certain model but in Louis Vuitton they are called CAs and that is your client advisor they serve the same purpose as an SA but they're just called client advisors SLG so that stands for small leather goods and those are your wallets your passport holders and I actually have some here a little wallet I have big wallets if you still use a checkbook I have a checkbook holder. I use a little toiletry to put stuff in. So these are considered small leather goods and then this is the actual wallet that I use, so. Next is LTD or LE and that just stands for limited edition. So these are your limited edition items. I don't really get limited edition stuff so I don't really have any LTD items to show you. Now we're gonna get into the Louis Vuitton of things. The first one I have is DE and that stands for Damier Bean. Some people say Damier Ben or Damier Ben. This is your DE print. It's your dark brown checkerboard looking print from Louis Vuitton. Next is your Damier Azor, and that is usually that white and gray checkered print, but I do not own any DAs because, I don't know, I just feel like I would ruin it, so I don't have any DAs. Next would be your RB, and that stands for Rose Ballerine, and that is an interior color of Louis Vuitton. So let's say you're buying a Neverfull bag, the interiors have, they come in different colors. So one of them is just RB, which is Rose Ballerine. And actually I do have my Neverfull is, where did I put that? Okay, so I do have an RB interior. So you do get this when you purchase a Neverfull and it is just a light pink interior. So excuse my mess, but yeah. All right, so these are the sizing for Louis Vuitton. You have GM, MM, PM, BB, okay? So let's just, let's take it all in. I know, so many sizing and that's like going to Starbucks and you're like, can I get a small? And you're like, no, that's not what they call it here. So let's start with the GM. GM stands for Grand Model and that is their largest size. M stands for Moyen. Model, which is your medium size. Your PM is your petite model, which is your small size. And then your BB is your baby bandolier, which is your mini. And I don't have a mini, but I'm not really into like mini, mini bags. So I'm going to be showing you the size difference because I do have a GM and an MM. And I have them on, on the go, so one sec. I'm back! Alright, so I have the on the go reverse print. I'm obsessed with these bags and I know who needs both, but I do. So this is the GM, this is the largest size on the go. And then this is the MM, which is the medium size. And they just came out with the PM 
and I don't know if I'm gonna get that. I don't I don't really think I need it unless I sell this one and maybe get that one. But it has these beautiful little straps that are great for travel. So you have your top handle and you also have long straps. They still have straps. The new ones are like all black. I don't know why they did that. I'm not a fan. So I'm happy I got the ones that match the monogram. So now we're gonna move on to hardware colors. People say GHW and that just means gold hardware, okay? So all of my Chanel's are pretty much gold hardware. And so this is my Chanel classic flap and this is gold hardware. And then that's the same for SHW, that's silver hardware. And then you have RHW, which is ruthenium hardware. You know what? I have this Chanel 19. This bag actually has three metals on it. This is your gold hardware. This is your ruthenium hardware, little tiny bit of the silver. So you have three metals. I love this bag. And then when it comes to Chanel, DF and SF. So one is a double flap and one is single flap. And they're talking about your classic flap bag. So I do have a classic, this is the jumbo size. This is your double flap. So it just means it's two different flaps. They discontinued the single flap one, but you can still buy them from the pre-loved market. GST and PST. GST just stands for Grand Shopping Tote, and a PST just stands for Petite Shopping Tote, which I do have both. This is your Grand Shopping Tote. So this is actually bought pre-loved because they are discontinued bags, but they are highly sought after in the pre-loved market. Then you have your PST, which is also discontinued. It's just the baby of the GST. So now we're gonna talk Hermes. Now I can't be pulling out Hermes on you because I don't own any. I just haven't gotten my hands on them yet because I refuse to spend a million dollars at Hermes just to get offered a Birkin. That's probably not the size I want, the color I want. So I'm just gonna end up buying in the pre-love market, but then they also rack up the prices. So it's just a whole, that's a different video we're gonna talk about one day. Okay, so SO just means special order. And that is when the customers uh, special order their Birkins, they can pick their own color and leather. And then I'll have like a little horseshoe next to the label where it says Hermes. BKC, that just means Birkin, Kelly, and Constance. And those are the three most highly coveted bags of Hermes. You have B25, B30, B35. What that just means is B is for Birkin, and then the number next to it are the sizes. So 25 is the smallest Birkin, and they come in 30, 35, 40. K28 or K32. So that just also means Kelly and the size of the bag. And then we're gonna move on to when you see maybe influencers or you know other people on your feed that are hashtagging OOTD or OOTN. And that just simply means outfit of the day for OOTD. And then OOTN is outfit of the night. There's also bag of the day, which is B-O-T-D, bag of the day. <laughs> All right, so then now I have kind of my last section that I saved, and this is for when you are buying pre-loved, and if you are in all of the luxury groups all over Facebook, and it's usually other consumers that are reselling their items that they don't want anymore. NFS just means not for sale, so sometimes people are not always selling on those groups, they just wanna show you what they got at the mall, or what they got from the store, or what they got online, or what they're wearing for today, so, they're putting up NFS, it just means not for sale. RTW means ready to wear. BNIB means a brand new inbox. So if somebody is selling you an item and it says BNIB, it means it's brand new inbox, haven't been touched, has everything. So everything's included. Next is brand new with tags, which is BNWT. So that just means it's probably not in a box, but it does have tags. So you have EUC, which is just excellent use condition, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's just telling you that it's in great condition, but it's not brand new. OS means one size. OBO means or best offer. For example, I have listed a pair of Christian Louboutins the other day. I said, I am asking for $450 OBO. And that just means $450 or best offer. So that means the seller is willing to go down the price. And usually when you see OBO and you're planning to buy, go ahead and ask them if they can lower it for you, and they usually do. SRP just means suggested retail price. 
ICO means in search of. So if you are in these groups, I am in so many groups. So I had to do an ICO when I wanted, what did I want? I wanted the a Chanel GST tote and I went on there and I wrote ISO Chanel GST GHW. <laughs> now let's play a game. What did I just say? <laughs> So now the last part is your Japanese resellers or some Asian countries too, but it's mostly Japanese. So when they are selling to you pre-love, they will rank the item that they're selling. So I have gathered that information because also when I first started watching a Japanese reseller, I'm like, what does that mean? Like, what is that? So rank I say just means good as new. It is mint. It is basically brand new, but you're just getting it or lower the price because you didn't buy it directly from the store. Rank A is almost new with minor signs of wear but not noticeable. Then you have rank AB which is good condition with minor signs of use so like scratches maybe, watermarks on the vachetta and all of that. Then you have rank B which is good condition but with signs of use so use are visible and then your last one is rank c which is okay condition that concludes my lingo of luxury i hope it helps you out and i might have missed some so if i did feel free to comment below and then maybe i'll update this one day with another new video yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching until next time bye everybody